I get, so, the, so the hat has to come on and off so that people can spend their channel points on asking me to put it back on, you see? I can't just wear it all the whole time. Yeah. What do you think about games like Human Resource Machine for learning to understand programming? <clears throat> yes. I think the best way to learn programming is to use, is to learn by doing. Okay. And that's my personal opinion. That's how I learn best. Uh, I think, I think it's not an uncommon though for people to learn best by doing. And my recommendation to anybody wanting to learn anything is to throw away the tutorials, you know, just try and do it. And it doesn't matter what it is. It might be rock climbing, right? You know how you get good at rock climbing? You go climb some rocks. <laughs> I mean, be safe about it. Don't go and try and climb half dome on your first day. But find some, find some low boulders and just go try and climb them. See if you even like it. You know. And then once you once you start climbing that rock, um, you're gonna go, wow, that was much harder than I thought it would be. I had all these problems, right? Then you go and research those problems. How do I solve that problem? And you start Googling, right? Google's your friend. I had a problem getting this weird handhold. And then you learn, oh, well, there's a solution for that. It's this handhold and that handhold, you know. Um, if you want to learn to play guitar, I recommend borrowing a friend's guitar and and just try and play a song, you know. Learn, learn some of the chord shapes, maybe. Have your friend show you a little bit of the, you know, how to hold it. And, um, and then just try and learn a song. And I mean, that's how I learned guitar. And in a couple of, I don't know, you know, in a couple of weeks, it took a couple of weeks, I was able to play a song. And it was great. And I love doing it. And I've kept with it ever since. And I've learned a lot. And I, I can't guarantee that's the, you're going to learn everything the proper way. But, the proper way kind of comes with experience, you know? <clears throat> so yeah, I think that any project that you pick up, if you're going to do game development, I think the best way to learn is to try and actually do a project. You're going to learn a lot. Now, the caveat to that is you should pick a small project and human resource machine looks like a gigantic game. Um, one common problem that new, new, new game developers experience is uh, they don't know how hard it is to make a game. People who don't haven't made a game don't understand what goes into it. Okay, so it's impossible for you as a new game developer to scope it, and that's why a lot of people try making a game and they quit because it they hit a brick wall very quickly and it's too much. You know, even making a very simple game like like table tennis or a match three game is incredibly difficult. There's a lot of work that goes into it. So, yes, Human Resource Machine, like any other project, would be a great resource for understanding programming. Now, if understanding the code and doing programming is your primary goal there, then it probably doesn't matter what the project is. Pick any project. And it would, if your goal is to finish making a game, I would pick a much, much smaller game than Human Resource Machine.